Hey everyone, and welcome to How to Dark. Uh, we are on to week 28 in game, um, and uh, once again, it's uh, it's looking to be about time. I, I want to get uh, one, some of these guys replaced. Um, and uh, it occurs to me that in my entire roster, I only have a single Plague Doctor, and those are really good. Uh, so I'm going to want to get another one of those. Uh, Lores, which is one of my options, has a couple of unfortunate... Um, uh, is certainly workable, um, but I think that what I'm going to pick up is uh, uh, Viral, just because that, uh, that old cork is relatively easy to fix. Um, as far as who's going to get replaced, um, I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I think I'm going to dump Gibbard. I have not uh, invested a whole lot of uh, cash into her, uh, and she does have one very problematic locked-in cork. Uh, so Gibbard uh, is going to go away now, unfortunately. Uh, and we are picking up horse, Viral. The broken man. Um, it's a busy week at the sanitarium. Uh, we have, let's see here, we have Fromen, our new occultist who's getting faded, locked in, and is getting bloodthirsty removed. That'll make him much more effective. Marillac, we're just going ahead and getting rid of a Blutomania, uh, just because that's... Not a huge issue, but it's uh, potentially problematic. Um, right. Uh, Malibiz, we're getting rid of that lethargy. Um, we'll also probably be treating her uh, not issue with being nocturnal uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and uh, Mostel, we're getting rid of the hemophilia. Um, so, we have a team that we are going to be sending in uh, to our next... Um, uh, foray into the ruins. Uh, we're going into the ruins because this right here, this is a really good trinket. Uh, the Heaven's Hairpin, it's probably one of the best trinkets uh, for uh, the Hellion, where as long as you're keeping your torch topped off, it's a really amazing um, uh, buff against stress damage and a nice little buff to accuracy at the same time. Um, both very nice things. So the team, uh, we're putting in a slightly underleveled Diel. Um, he's got that Unholy Slayer, which is going to make him nice here. Um, we're bringing Mortimer. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, Lick Wounds and Blackjack. Uh, he's not going to be doing a whole lot of damage, probably mostly just stunning, which he will be very effective at. Um, and uh, bringing him along, normally Houndmasters aren't super great in the ruins. I mean, they're they're pretty much always good, at the very least. Uh, uh, but he's got Ruins Explorer and Ruins Scrounger, which means lots and lots of scout chance. That's good. Uh, Ashwill, um, so we can stock up on whatever goodies we find in there. Uh, and Hera, uh, also with some bonus scouting chance. Also, Grave Robbers are, well, they're pretty great. Um, all right, so let's get these guys decked out. Uh, forgive me, I didn't do all of my usual administrative work beforehand. Um, so let's go ahead and get Mortimer. Uh, let's get these folks kitted out. Um, do we want... Uh, yeah, I think I'm more invested in the uh, Antiquarian surviving rather than getting much in in the way of damage. Hera, okay, yeah. We'll amp up those... Picking knives and Diel. Yep, let's go ahead and make you as tough as we can. Um, Alright, so, yep. Just gonna upgrade everything on Diel. Uh, Hera. Okay, yeah. Lunge. Oh man, we can go even farther with Hera. Um, that'd be neat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hold off for now, I think. Ash will. Okay, we're definitely going to amp up Fortifying Vapors. Um... Um, maybe... Uh, no, let's just upgrade those two and save our coin. Um, Mortimer, okay. Yeah. Blackjack's going all the way up. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let me whistle. Uh, maybe the other... Maybe his other skills will just stay where they are, I think. Um, okay. So yeah, that's actually diminished our funds quite a bit, but uh, fortunately, and something I haven't been doing, I have so many of these trinkets lying around, uh, a lot of which I'm probably not going to use that much. So let's ditch a few. Um, well, first thing I'm probably going to get rid of are these less-than-stellar highwayman trinkets. I don't really have any in my party. Um, 
And uh, I'm probably not going to pick one up anytime soon unless they're really good. So let's ditch the star stalwart buckles and uh, all the various kinds of buckles. The Lock of Patience, eh. Eh, I have an abomination that I really like, but it's just not a trinket I'm going to use on him. Uh, the Dark Tambourine, a uh, very rare trinket, but also one that's just not going to get used uh, on my Jester. Uh, sell that for a nice... Uh, and the Scouting Whistle, it's nice, but the uh, the Houndmaster has a very good chance to disarm traps uh, as is, and uh, I'm not really going to be doing a whole lot when my light is below uh, halfway. So away that goes. Um... Vengeful Greaves I'm probably going to get rid of. Just plus 1% crit just ain't really worth it. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Oh yeah, that move stone. That's that's not getting used ever. Uh, probably not the Slippery Boots either. Um, ah yeah, and the Toughering. Yeah, it's got a nice protection and uh, HP buff, but uh, the penalty to... Uh, stress damage and the minus 15% damage just make it not really my bag. So away it goes. Let's resort all our trinkets. A little bit cleaner, and our funds are much replenished. Uh, so let's figure out what we're putting on this team here. Uh, Diel, as ever, is going to take with him the Berserk Mask. Um, he, yeah, he's definitely going to take the Sun Ring. We want as much accuracy as possible on the Leper. Uh, on Mortimer, uh, definitely the Cudgel Weight, and let's take that Swift Cloak uh, and get him as much speed as possible, get those stuns uh, racked out as quickly as possible. Ash Will, we're going to turn into basically a healer. We're going to give her the Candle of Life, which gives her a very nice buff to her admittedly small heal, as well as Unia's head. Um, so there we go. So she should be a decently effective healer now. Uh, and then Hera, our Grave Robber, we're just going to stack for damage. Dismiss his head. Um, and uh, we don't have any undead slaying rings. Eh, just take a damage stone. Why not? There we go. Uh, some nice buffs to damage. Um, yep, we've got good camping skills. Good, good, good. There we go. Shake its ground. Yep, okay. Uh, I think that's going to be everything we want. Let's do this. Um, right, so for this one, we don't have to gather a certain type of item, uh, but we do need to find certain curios to interact with and use these consecrated essences on them. Forgive me, I need to take a drink of water there. Uh, I do vastly prefer these kinds of quests to the ones where you have to collect something from the dungeon, because uh, it means we start off with a lot less inventory space, uh, but uh, as we complete the quest, uh, we'll get more. Alright, so herbs, uh, I'll probably leave it as just one. I don't expect us to find more than one Iron Maiden on this run. Um, just gonna take much food as I can carry, you never know uh, when hunger checks are gonna wreck you. Just two shovels, I think. Um, hoping we won't run into more than two blockages. Hoping. Maybe we'll find some shovels on the way. Uh, don't really need antivenom or bandages. Um, the traps just do straight damage and stress. And uh, um, to memory, the only bleed effects are still just the uh, cultist brawlers. Um, so right as ever we're going to want. Lots of skeleton keys, lots of holy water. Um, and our usual complement of torches. So yeah, not a whole lot of space for loot going in immediately, but let's see how fast we can dump these uh, essences. Uh, come on, I really wish these loading screens were faster. You would think this would be faster on an SSD. Can the defile it's not. be consecrated? Oof. Can the fallen find rest? Okay, so right out the gate, we got some scouting chance, which is good. We've got a... Uh... Alright, so we definitely have a quest location right up ahead, which is good. We can dump one of these uh, holy waters, or whatever it is, consecrated essences, immediately. Um, we got a lot to explore and a fair bit of backtracking to do here, which is unfortunate, uh, given the layout of the map. 
But, uh, we'll do what we can. Uh, forgive me just for, just for just a second here. Ah. Need to adjust my footing in my chair. Okay, here we go. Um, ah, nice, Angel Statue. Uh, who wants, who wants a damage buff? Um, the way is lit. Yeah, it might give other clear. stuff too. We Let's see what happens. Only the strength to follow it. Nope, that's damage. Nice. That's gonna be real powerful on the leper. Uh, lepers, by the way, um, while they are extremely flawed and very limited in in terms of what they can do, uh, they do it very well. They actually have a much much higher base damage than any other character in the game, um, which is why I actually kind of like them over Crusaders. Um, okay, so, let's get started, shall we? Uh, we're just gonna... Stun, the big one. Um, Ash will... Yeah, I'm gonna say, why don't you get some protection from the big beefy dude with the powerful self-heal. Um, all Dial is really gonna do is just chunk as much damage as he can into the blood letter and Hera here. Let's see your odds of taking that guy down outright if you lunge. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to lay down a thrown dagger on the Fusilier. That nah, didn't get very high damage. Uh, not the best opening round. We're going to take some beats here. Uh-oh. Nice! And the big guy is stunned. Um, big guy is probably going to stay pretty well locked down. Um, let's see here. Nervous stamp, just turn vapors. Um, yeah, why don't you, why don't you just go ahead and, uh, do some healing on, uh, the party members that I guess are actually useful. Good, more damage into that, uh, blood letter. Um, we can probably, actually, you know what, Hound's Rush can be used to take down the Fusilier. Come on, bleed. Nice, alright. That's one problem dealt with. Uh, and now a thrown dagger will bring down the blood letter. So I only got one enemy to deal with. Alright. Get a little bit of a shanking there. Okay, there's more bleed here than I thought. That sucks a bit. Alright, well let's hew down that corpse. Come up front, friend. Alright, this isn't a huge deal. We can heal. We can stun this guy. No biggie. Um, I'd love to just juggle him for a few turns and heal, but nah, let's not do that. As the fiend falls, there we go. Fiend hope blossoms. Okay. Um, which of these things? Actually, here we go. Use food. Use food. Use food. And now we have room for the minor antique. All right, Dael. There we go. So that's one objective down. Uh, Hera's gonna take a little bit of bleed. Nice, like that scout chance. So let's see, quest location, Curio. We got another quest location right there in that hallway. Uh, I'm still gonna check down this way just in case there's a quest location there. Uh, if there's not, I'll feel silly. But if there is, I would feel a lot sillier if I went down uh, the whole rest of this west wing without checking here first. Um, just trying to minimize the potential light, backtracking. Oh, okay, so here's a new enemy type. We have this Bone Spearman. Uh, traditionally, I think they spawn in rank 3. Um, if they're in rank 2 or 1, as I recall, they are actually extremely dangerous. The last thing you want is for them to be the last enemy in the, in the party up front. Uh, even from the third rank, they have a very potent uh, spear thrust attack, which I think does a fair bit of damage uh, and has a chance to, sh to shuffle your party members around. Um, uh, if he's up front, he can actually use like some kind of... I forget the name of the move, but it's like a lance charge that deals lots of damage to your entire party. Uh, so these guys are definitely priority targets. Um, and so with that in mind, uh, we're just we're just going to go ahead and start chunking him down. He's not getting a turn. Ah, I should have rearranged my party a bit. Um, ah, I didn't think this through. Damn it. 
Whoopsie does. Okay. Uh, okay, that still set, sets up that guy for Diel to use Hugh. Uh, pick off that one, get some nice beats into uh, the Bone Veteran. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think uh, Ash Will will just blight the Bone Veteran, and I uh, resisted the blight. Oh, dang. Ouch, that hurt a bit. I figured that would take him out. Should have gone for the Nervous Stab. Okay, but uh, we dodge his attack right back. Uh, so, Hera, I think is going to finish this Veteran here. Decimated. Nice, that was a crit, so that, uh... Um... That's getting the Bone Marksman up front. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's just start chunking him down. Nice. More crits. Uh, he's up far enough that I don't think he can use his Quarrel ability anymore. Uh, Ashwill... Why don't you just make sure you don't die there? Yeah, bayonet jab. Hurts. And, uh... That'll end the fight. <laughs> Nice max damage hit from Diel. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? Before I go down the right side, I am going to go ahead and pop into this left hallway just so I can dump another one of these consecrated essences from my inventory. There we go. Stay calm, this is not a route. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not. Be cool. Um, alright. Um, I think... Let's think Lick Wounds. Let's have you have Cry Havoc, because, uh... Cry Havoc, yeah, you know what? Uh, now nah, we might use Whistle. Um, Cry Havoc, I think, is going to be better if uh, he gets shuffled into the back rows, because Hera uses it uh, when Hera decides to use Lunge. Um, all right. As the light gains purchase... Spirits okay. are lifted. Hunger check. And purpose is made clear. Sack is empty. Alright, so we can have Mortimer disarm that trap for us. We know there's nothing in this room. Let's see, anything further ahead? Not that we can see. This might get a little dicey. Yep, there's a trap. Ow. Glorious is the trap maker's uh, there's a Shambler Orb. His we are not fucking touching that. By his own eyes. Um, alright, got some... Some food and some loot. We don't know what's in here, so let's keep our torch topped off, make that sun ring useful. And just an empty room, so let's see if just maybe our third uh, quest target is in this hallway or in this room. The match is ah, jeez. A blazing star Ouch. is born. We're definitely going to want to uh, cover HP when we camp. And there's nothing. So, I feel dumb, but whatever. Uh, we did what we could, um, so we'll probably we'll probably get up to that uh, room up there and camp just to keep our HP topped off. It's going to be a long trek back. I'll try and keep talking so we don't get dead air. Uh, hopefully, the collector won't decide to pop up in any hallways on our way back through this area. Um, not sure this is a party I would like to run into the collector with. All right. Okay. All right, so now we can go down a hallway with at least some fresh uh, things to interact with. Uh, Hera has us covered on the trap. Um, all right. Nice, we got heirlooms. Uh, I'm going to ignore the alchemy table because uh, we're going to get our lights out topped off when we use uh, the camp, the firewood here. And we get some scouting. Curio, battles, all right. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is written, coded into the game now, but I feel like uh, most recently, whenever I've done one of these missions, one of the quest targets is always in, like, the very furthest room away. Uh, anyhow, let's camp. Together. Let's feast, recover stress, and, and get everybody's HP up. Rats in a maze. Uh, let's, okay, naturally, let's use Reflection, get that nice accuracy and crit buff going. Uh, let's get Hound's Watch to keep us, keep us from getting jumped in the night and improve our surprise chance. Um... Yeah, I'm going to say let's use Night Moves for bonus scout chance. And now let's use Trinket's Crown and see what we get. Which is vile. Alright, we got many of these already, but we can still sell it. And let's use Resupply. Hey, she conjured up an extra torch for us. Not bad. 
In All right. May we find victory. Still looking pretty good here. Let's push on. What do we got in this hallway? Ouch. Okay. So we've encountered these ghouls on our uh, previous veteran level mission. They're pretty tough, but uh, not insurmountable. These guys, these gargoyles, these are the... Uh, if you follow TV tropes, these are the goddamned bats of this game. <laughs> Uh, and what I mean by that is they're low, they have low HP, but they have a really high protection stat, they're really fast, they're really dodgy, and their attacks are low damage, but they have stuns and, uh, uh, party shuffles and all kinds of really nasty stuff. Um, they're not fun to deal with, uh, but we have our ways. Um, so, for the time being... We're going to keep the ghoul locked down because the ghoul uh, has that area stress, which we really don't want to deal with. Yeah, there's that flurry of claws. As you can see, low damage, but they just resisted a move effect, which is nasty. And there's that lash of a tail. Uh, yep, resisted the move, but it stunned him, and that sucks. Um, all right, can we get 10 damage if we lunge? Um, we might. Uh... You can see it's, you know, the amount of damage we'll deal is 6 to 12. Let's see if she can get at least 10 in. Damn it. That is a minimum damage roll. Really not what I was hoping for. Okay. Uh, but we can still blight him, I hope. Okay, good, good. That's, that's something. Um, alright. So you know what? Let's Shadow Fade. Stun that ghoul. Get uh, Mortimer back into position there. Uh, I really hope he doesn't get stunned. Yes! He resisted! Okay. Um, Alright, so that gargoyle is going to die before it gets a chance to do anything else. So, Dael, why don't you start chunking away at the ghoul? Nice! That's the kind of thing we want to see. Uh, Mortimer is going to get rent. Uh, that hurt a bit and could have caused some nasty bleed, but so far we're fine. Um... You know what? I'm gonna say your odds of inflicting blight. Not 100%. I'm gonna say, yeah, there we go. Patrick Mortimer there. Um, let's see. How much damage could you do? Not much. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say just uh, just whistle, and then we can definitely bring down this ghoul in the upcoming turn. Um, yeah, if we, if we lunge, how much is that going to do? Um, I like those odds. Okay, we might do enough to just outright kill him. Probably won't, but let's give it a shot. Nice! Victory. Uh, that's... That lunge skill is really powerful. That nice 40% uh, damage mod and 11% crit mod. That's, that's good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay. Um, ba -ba -bum. Let's just... Get whatever damage we can into that gargoyle. Five, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, can't stab that one. Yeah, let's just heal. The gargoyles can't do too much damage. Uh, with the major threat removed, uh, I'm not too worried about what they're going to do to us. I don't think they have any stress attacks either. Alright, so that one dies. Dael, unfortunately, is reduced to carving up the corpse. Uh, sure. Lash is... Alright, Lash of the Tail misses. Um, let's just get him in range of everybody. I think Hera will uh, probably take us home on this one. Let's stab him. There we go. Probably puts him safely in range. Yeah, the pick to the face. Problem solved. Not bad at all. Alright. So let's think about this. Okay, good. Those little two full stacks there. Emerald, Antique, uh, and I think I'm okay leaving the... Nope, here we go. Heal up, heal up, and we can even take the Citrine. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so that was a fun encounter. Yeah, things are actually going to get more interesting at veteran level. Like, a lot of the stuff I, I did and advised, um, doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot on Apprentice Difficulty. You can make a lot of mistakes on Apprentice Difficulty and still be successful. Uh, veteran Difficulty amps it up a notch. Um, Champion's gonna get really fun. Okay. 
Nice. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say let's doggy treat, and because we want to get as much damage as we can into that bone noble. Um, they're, well, I know they're surprised, so I'm not even really worried about stuns. Okay. Uh, yep, Hera, take us home on the noble. Ah, damn it. Damn it. All right, so if he uses Hugh... Nah. Chop will definitely kill one of these guys. Hugh might kill one of them. Might kill both, but it might not kill either of them. So let's go with the safe bet here. Yeah, there we go. Min damage roll. Still got him. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Arg! All right, whatever. We can blight him. If only we could stun him too. And then, uh, ouch! That was a decent hit. Yeah, there's the tempting goblet. Actually, yeah. If there's any character we want taking stress damage, it's probably Diel. Uh, Diel can totally deal with. Uh, ouch! Okay. That was a little rough. Okay, uh, Mortimer. Uh, let's not take any chances on the Bone Noble getting another turn. Take us home. Destroy them. Okay, um... Yep. Let's fortify Hera. There she goes, she's looking a lot better. Um, Alright. Let's deliver a throne... Yeah, thrown dagger to that marksman. Nice, some good damage there. And yeah, let's just take out that other conscript there. Cool. All right, so we're gonna take another quarrel. Okay, so the good news here is we can just sort of take a turn and patch up a bit. Um, Diel can use withstand to do some stress heal on himself. Very nice, because I mean, otherwise he's just gonna be chunking at corpses, and that's not terribly useful to anyone. We can blackjack and stun this guy. We can leave him alive for a turn, I think, without taking uh, weird penalties. Hera will just shuffle forward and Ash will uh, we will have heal up Mortimer. There we go. So as long as we take him down this round, we should be fine. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and have him have Diel remove more stress from himself. Cool. Uh, he's got tons of prot, too, just in case the Bone Marksman decides to attack him. Uh, but that's not gonna happen. Nice, alright. How much of this can we actually take? Alright, we can take everything but the crests. What are we willing to ditch in favor of crests? The citrine. Hey, we got some scout chance. We can see what's up ahead in the next room. Ah, hey, there's our last quest location. Nice. Alright, so we know we got a hallway fight here. Two Bone Conscripts. Not a problem. That's another... That's another Shambler halter up ahead. <laughs> Please, Shambler. The Abyss... The Abyss is... <laughs> calling a little too hard. Ow, 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 ow. My cat is scratching me. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Alright, so let's just... Yeah, we're just gonna... Stun that guy. Uh, let's... There we go. Pick will take out the other one. Um... Yeah, I think Diel is just going to heal himself up. There we go. And, uh... Ash will, I think, will... top off Diel's health. He's stunned, and now we're just... we're just gonna take him down. And we'll top off Diel's health. Get that as close to max as possible. Swing and miss. Alright, Hera will take us home. There we go. All right, uh, can't fit this gold in here, can we? So too will resistance. Um, yeah. not really going to be using Mortimer for damage, so I think I feel pretty comfy, comfy getting rid of the doggy treat. Nope, still not touching that Shambler orb. Okay, and hey, here's our last uh, essence. Oh, secret room! Okay. Papyrus. Alright, so let's clear up our inventory a bit. There there we go. Quest complete, but we're not done checking this stuff out. Papyrus, stop stop chewing on my headphone cord. Uh hold on just a moment. I I have a minor cat emergency to deal with. Come on, papyrus. 
There you go. Down you go, bud. Ah, sorry about that. All right, so we're just gonna pop in, check out whatever that curio is. It's even an alchemy the table. Stone seems bent on preventing passage. So we're not even gonna worry about that. Uh, hey, but that gives us. So we know there's no more. There, okay, there might be a blockage in that last room, but uh, there's a lot of good stuff seemingly uh, before we even need to touch that last room. I'm okay ditching the shovels. All right, what do we got? Sack is empty. That's unfortunate. Um, but hey, secret room. Uh, nice gold, gold trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. I know, I know. Actually, not a whole lot of blood. Everybody's in reasonably good health. Um, rah. yeah, I feel comfortable ditching. Um, I'll take my chance on not finding a, uh, uh, an Iron Maiden. Ditch that herb. Okay, let's get, let's get light up to Radiant. Nice, there's a madman here, a frothing madman even. Uh, and he's faster than all of us. That's some real unfortunate blanket stress there. Alright, hopefully someone will go and bring down that, en that enchantress before she does anything too problematic. Um, Dael will try and chunk down a gladiator. Nope. Nice! Ash Will dodges the stressful incantation. Uh, Mortimer. Uh. Let's see here. You know what? Yeah, let's just go for damage. Um. You know what? Let's go for damage and take out this gladiator, because he still hasn't gone this turn. There we go. That's one less action the enemy's gonna get this round. Alright, uh, we're going to... Do I want to lunge on him? A lunge might kill him. Uh, I think it's worth a chance. Nope, we're gonna get close to min damage. That sucks. Um, that sucks a lot. Well, what the heck. Uh, let's just... We'll hit that gladiator a little bit, try and put him in range of one of Dael's uh, attacks. He'll swing and miss. Now hopefully we'll get some better initiative rolls, come on. Okay, cool. Nice. Hera uh, can take a pick to the madman, no more actions for him. Uh, Mortimer... Eh. Just have to get what damage we can into that enchantress. Damn. That's another incantation we're gonna eat. Damn. Let's go ahead and get our light topped off again. Um, okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to say hit that corpse. Uh, and then Diel. There we go. There. Now that Enchantress is in range of Blackjack. Uh, as well as Pick to the Face. There we go. That'll end that fight for us. Uh, oh, not night. No. Oh, mm. This gives us some tough choices. Um, longevity eye patch. Eh, we got two of these witches' vials already, and this one's probably worth more as it stands. Um, uh, uh. Alright, so that rare antique, that's worth more than the onyx. I'll keep that. Um. I think I'm still in a position where portraits are still worth more than coin. Uh, so I think I am also going to ditch the emeralds. Um, yeah, I should probably ditch supply items, but... Uh, uh, instead, but... There may yet still be good stuff. Uh, more heirlooms to be found. Okay, let's get Hera... Back into... whoops. No, no, no. Hang on. There we go. Back into position, everyone. Okay, nothing in this room. Uh, let's see. Uh, sack. What's in the sack? More if coin. Only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Yep, okay. What's in this hallway battle? Okay, good. We can totally make this work. First things first, lock down the stress dealer. None of your crap. Um, okay, Diel. Well, Diel can is assuming he hits is guaranteed to kill the Bone Conscript. 
walls. So let's just... Yeah, we'll make that happen. Some nice crit and stress relief for everybody else. Uh, there we go. Little hit and some bleed on Dael. Uh, not a huge problem with his... Jesus, 49 hit points. That's a lot. Uh, okay. So, Ash will. Let's uh, just sort of guarantee that the Cultist Enchantress is in range of... Yeah, that doesn't quite put her in guaranteed range of a dagger throw, but odds are very good this will finish her off. There we go. All right. Down to one foe. Let's do this. Uh, sure. We'll... Eh, yeah, we'll lunge. There we go. Low damage, but hey, it's something. Hound's Rush might finish the job here. If it bleeds, it... Uh, nope, he didn't bleed. But it doesn't matter. It's Dial's turn. Big hits. Okay, coin, a antiques. But a victory nonetheless. Era will retreat to the back again. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, Lock Sarcophagus. Cool. Okay, all right, we got two nasty priority targets. We have the Bone Noble in the back and the Bone Spearman in rank three. Uh, we can immediately lock down one of these problems. Um, Hera is probably... Yeah, he's going to get a turn in all likelihood. Uh, Dael, knock out the Bone Conscript. Uh, not the best thing to do, but hey, it's a guaranteed dead enemy. Uh, okay, Dial is going to take some stress damage. Pretty okay with the lever taking stress. He's good at handling it. Um, and Ashwill is just going to make sure that this Bone Noble doesn't get any more turns. Pardon me. Got a cat emergency to deal with. <sighs> okay, um... Fortunately, that didn't really interrupt the flow of combat all that much. Um, all right, so we definitely do not want to adjust the order. We don't that want that Bone Spearman getting any closer to the front. Uh, so hopefully... Yeah, here's where I'm going to say hopefully he won't crit and just one-shot this Bone Bull arc. Okay, that's fine. Chunk a little bit of damage into him. Um, what are our odds... Yeah, we have a near 200% stun chance. Our odds are still pretty good of stunning the Bone Spearman. Uh, does it work? Nope, he resisted it. Darn. Uh, but if I lunge... Yeah, odds are good. We'll take him down. There we go. No more Bone Spearman. Um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, not too worried about damage at this point, because we're so close to the end, so let's... Festering Vapors, maybe Blight him. Nope, he resisted it. Uh, Axe Blade, three damage, no biggie. Uh, all right, so let's just work on bringing this guy down. And then we can call it a day. Nice. All right, Rock Cut Sensor we don't really need. Uh, Holy Water, don't even really need that either. Um... Yeah, I think I'll just keep my light topped off and ditch our remaining torches. All right, so what's in here? Packs More coin. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. All right, so what's up ahead? Tra hey, a treasure room. Uh, oh, nice. Angel statue. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's put that on. Let's holy water. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Alright, Mortimer will deal with that trap for us. Is there anything else in this hallway? Nope, just the one last room. Are we still going to have Radiant Light by the time we get there? Nah, not quite. Damn. Uh, so no Sun Ring for us. Uh, okay, okay. Alright, so we can stun the Major Damage Dealer. Uh, hopefully, Hera will be able to bring down that Bone Noble in the back immediately. So close. Well, we're probably going to take a little stress from that. Ah, uh, damn it. Ouch. Okay. Okay, we'll still come out of this fight in okay shape. Uh, let's see. Come on, Blight. Damn it. Really? Really? Uh, Alright, so what the heck? These guys can only deal damage. Let's go for Broke. Let's see if maybe he can hew both of them down. Nope, he's going to... <laughs> Bring them both down to 1 HP. That was kind of just for fun. Um, I suppose I should have been more careful, because these guys could crit me and end up inflicting more stress. Alright, Hera. Take us home on this Bone Noble. There we go. 
Um, actually, we'll just finish off one of these conscripts for us. Uh, oh, wow, he got a really big stun resist. Okay, well, um, yeah, why don't you just finish off that other conscript there? And, uh, we'll take some damage. Luckily, that wasn't a crit. Um, so, yeah, why don't you just withstand and chip some of that stress off of you? Lepers are not always ideal, but they are very self-sufficient. Alright, so let's stun you again. I'm pretty sure between Hera and Ashwill, they can finish him off. Come on, Hera. There we go. There we go. Okay, nice! Another rare antique. Lots of gold! Creatures can be felled. Cool, alright. Uh, so, yeah, we don't need holy water at this point. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Use the key. What's in the heirloom chest? A fortune. Waiting to be spent. Um, okay. Alright, yeah, and we can ditch the food, take everything else. Uh, pretty good haul. Not a whole lot in... Not a whole lot in the way of heirlooms. We got a nice number of crests. Um, uh, but yeah, plenty, plenty of cash. Lots of cash. Yeah, that'll keep our coffers full for a while. Um, money is going to become scarce as we get more characters appropriately prepped for veteran tier difficulty. Oh yeah, wow. Look at all that cash. And of course we got our Heaven's Hairpin. Uh, oh, Dial's Disease, what did he get? He's lethargic. God damn it. Well, that's gonna need to get fixed. Uh, some Mortimer is already up to level 4. Ash will. As Hagiomania. Um... That replaced Nymphomania. <laughs> Apparently checking out the ruins uh, kind of lowered her libido, and now she just likes checking out the ruins. And is also now apparently obsessed with sainthood. All those religious icons had an effect on her. Uh, and Hera, eh, disease resist. Not going to complain about it. I okay. Can still see their angry faces nice. As they Look at all that cash. But I was dead before they found me. All right. Uh, so that's going to be that. Um, we'll see you folks next time.